What's up guys, it's Logan, so I'm back with another video today. And in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some of these head wraps. Um, a young lady hit me up on Instagram and sent me some of her head wraps. So she wanted me to review them for you guys. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. The name of the boutique is called the Head Wrap Boutique. And then the name of the head wraps are actually called the Love Wraps. Um, they came with this nice little pamphlet. It just basically tells you all of the things that they are able to service you with. It just says uh, like they are able to give you a photo shoot. They're able to book you a head wrap event. They're able to give you like a bridal party, a look and learn event, a vendoring event. And it also gives you their Instagram, their Facebook, their YouTube. They're all uh, named Love Wraps with the Z. It'll all be listed below. It also gives you their Gmail. And on the back, it tells you, it shows you that basically you don't necessarily have to have locks to achieve these uh, hair wrap styles or anything like that. You could also have natural hair. Nice. Um, on to the hair wraps. Actually, they came in this packaging and it just basically has all of their labels on here as well, just like the uh, pamphlet came with. And then when you open it, they just open up to be like this. So once you open it, uh, I'll show you guys how I basically like to style mine. I'm going to give you guys a couple of different ways to style it. Um, I know I did a video way back in the day uh, showing you guys how I like to style my head scarves or head wraps, but uh, I have come up with a couple of new styles. So I'm just going to be showing you guys that in this video, as well as showing you guys some of the old styles and just showing you guys how I could wear them with clothes and different things like that. So um, yeah, they sent me a blue one. They sent me a, a black one and they sent me this one. And this one is kind of like an Asian or like a maybe um what uh tribal i don't know i don't know what, what kind of look this is giving y'all but yeah so basically they just sent me these three and i'm going to be just styling them for you guys and showing you how i would style them with my different clothes and yeah so in the meantime continue watching and i will see you guys in my next video peace what's up guys all right so what i did was as you can see just took the scarf and folded it down into like a very thin rectangle uh, and then wrapped it around my hair like or I folded it down as if it was like a bandana let's use bandana as the term so I folded it down into like a bandana and then used the bandana and wrapped it around my forehead as if it was like a like a real bandana and then wrapped the extra edges of the bandana around my ponytail to make it a whole look or whatever I'm gonna do it again just so that you guys can see because I know you guys are like that was too fast but yeah I'll go ahead and shut up and just let you guys watch Alright guys, so for the second style, what I'm going to be doing is just splitting my hair from top to bottom and then putting the rectangular bandana uh, shaped scarf around basically just towards throughout the middle. As you guys can see, you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, and then I'm going to just take all of my locks from the top along with the bandana along with a couple of my locks from the bottom. I always include a couple of my locks from the bottom in this style just so that I can keep like the bun or the ponytail thing kind of low. And then I'm just going to take the scarf, as you guys can see right now, and just tuck the scarf in because I don't necessarily like for my scarf to hang. I don't know if you like for your scarf to hang, then just go ahead and leave it. But yeah, otherwise, go ahead and take the scarf in. Uh, in all of these styles, as you guys can see, I, I used a white uh, rubber band or like a white scrunchie just so that you guys can see where the scrunchie is throughout the whole uh, hairstyle. So just keep a note of that as well. I'm going to do it again, as you guys can see, just to get the whole gist of what I'm doing. This is basically going to be the same style, only I'm putting all of my hair up. Instead of uh, splitting my hair down from top to bottom, I'm basically just tying the bandana-shaped scarf around my entire head and then putting all of it up. Instead of leaving the back down, just in case you guys want to have some of it up, this is just like an alternative style as well. But this is still style too. We still have three more coming. Keep watching. <laughs> Squeeze me And I
All right, so now we're going to be moving into the third style. For this one, we're still going to be using this bandana-shaped scarf. So we're basically going to fold our scarf down into a bandana. And then we're going to, instead of leaving some of the scarf hanging at the back, we're just going to wrap it all the way around and around and around until we use the entire scarf and we don't have any of it hanging. And then we're just going to style the top of our hair however you want to style it. Uh, you could always style your hair into like a ponytail or just leave it down or put it into like a bun or a ball or, you know, whatever you want to do. That's obviously your preference. But the point of this uh, scarf style, it's to just basically hide like your edges and just hide some of your hair uh, in, in case you don't have like a fresh retwist or anything like that. So yeah, continue watching. I'll go ahead and shut up and do it again for you guys. All right, guys, so now we're moving into the fourth style. This one is going to be a little bit more coverage than the other styles. If you want to cover your locks a little more, this one and the last one are both going to be a little bit more coverage styles if you want to cover your locks. So basically what I'm doing is tying it in the back. I don't really know what to reference this style to because I don't know what this kind of looks like, but just put the scarf over your head as if it's like a hat, I guess, and then just tie it in the back and... With these extra uh, strings on the side, you can do a couple of different things with them. I'm going to show you that and the rest of the styling, so continue watching, and I'll be back for the next step. All right, so here for the last style, again, it's a little bit more coverage. Up under this uh, whole style, uh, my hair is in basically just a high bun. If you guys want to know how I do my high buns, I already have a video up uh, explaining like how I do my high buns. But in addition to that, I'm basically just tying my nightly do-rag <laughs> over the high bun just to keep it down, keep it like with a stable foundation for up under this uh, scarf style. And then... I don't know how to explain this, but just follow what I'm doing. <laughs> 